Texas is a land rich and plentiful, no doubt target rich, and has proven to be one of the country's most sought out destinations to hunt wild game. This hunting culture is much more than that of only what an antler score can produce. It's a culture driven by family, values, and the trophy itself is embedded within the experience. <laughs> Texas Trophy Hunters, and we are storytellers. This week, our team is headed to the Texas Hill Country to hunt one of my favorite species, Axis. It's July, it's hot, and although the summer months are mainly filled with work preparing for the fall, it doesn't mean we don't take a little time to enjoy hunting opportunities that are always available to those who wish to partake. Texas is home to the largest population of free-range axis in the U.S., and when it comes to hunting axis, the hill country is generally where we find ourselves. We've been hunting the last several years with our good friend Rusty. Every year, the only thing that's guaranteed is to expect the unexpected. This was the case for one of my closest friends, Brandon Hunt, the first time he came to hunt this particular farm. It was summer of 2019 my buddy Brandon's first axis hunt, and he had the opportunity to experience firsthand just how fast circumstances can change in the hill country. The weather this afternoon probably going to be moving in and out, so we got in here a little bit early because I think these deer may move as long as that thunder holds off. Unfortunately for Brandon, the thunder did not hold off, and neither did the rain or lightning. It wasn't long after we dropped off Brandon and his cameraman, Matt, we received a call from the landowner, who said we might want to check on the boys. All right, well, the landowner's out here. He was worried about y'all. Yeah, or at least let's sit in the truck. You just tell me I'm up here at the barn. You're doing good, B. Right up. Huh. I need some white. You got any wet white? We have a problem. We dropped B and Matt off the blind in Texas, and since we've dropped them off, there's been a massive rain came, and now we can't access them to get them back home. <laughs> They're trying to walk back. They're going to have to have a Tarzan rope or something because they can't get back. Check us out. So, so they're stuck, and we now have what was four feet wide three hours ago is now what you see here and the tractor's not going across the it. Can't get across. So the creek's up. So we're gonna have to try and walk this creek down about a mile and hit a highway if we can get across this feeder creek that is uh, coming into this. We don't know. We're gonna go check it out. Yeah. We'll cross over here. I'll step on that boat. Good sign we got two track. I hear the highway up there. We're getting out tonight. This is what you do when your guide calls you and tells you you ain't gonna get out tonight. We're on that field down there, Matt. Now we don't know where we are, but we know where we're going. I know where we are. There just ain't nobody here to get us yet. Because Rusty put us on the other side of a creek that came up 10 feet. 10 feet. 10 feet. Glad y'all are in shape. Hey, that just shows you what kind of dedicated axis hunter you are. It's a good thing you had us in camp, not some other jack leg. I know. Big uh, body. 
I wouldn't have told him to walk out. I told him to go sleep with the neighbors. <laughs> I ain't sleeping with the neighbors, bro. You about did. I ain't come down here to hang out with the neighbors. <laughs> I come down here to hang out with y'all. All right, my phone. I don't want to die. All right, bye-bye. Despite all Brandon's troubles he encountered in 2019, he did, however, harvest a nice axis in velvet, and it was just enough to get him back to the same farm in 2021. Rusty's fixing to go stick us in the woods. Farewell. It's in the edge of the woods. In the haylock. It's been like two years since I've been, two or three years since I've been down here. Rusty thinks I come every year, but I really have only been once. Everybody else comes all the time, but so I'm pretty excited. We're gonna try and kill an axis deer. Are we gonna kill an axis deer? As long as you can shoot. Y'all heard that, dude. I didn't bring my binoculars. I know I should have put them in his backpack or right there. Our boys down the way are having a, they got a little infestation problem in there. And they're blind. Hope they make it out alive. Now one of the things I personally love about hunting the summer months is the wildlife is abundant. Whitetails are in their summer routine and it gives you opportunity to see what's on the property for the upcoming fall, up close and personal. This was the case for Brandon during his first couple of sits on the property. The wildlife was abundant, but Brandon was specifically looking for a mature axis buck. Dude, that was 
so cool. Here comes Matt and Cleve right now. <laughs> Dude, they're perfect. He, the, it's the one that uh, roared this morning. He roared right up there in that corner and then they started filtering down through here and they got over there by that set of pins down there over the hill. And uh, I thought they were gonna go off, but finally those does started drifting back up and they drifted back up across here and I shot him right out there. Yeah, Dude. all the way across here. Heck He's yeah, laying man. right over here on the fence line. Let's go find him, let's go look at him. <laughs> See his horn sticking up? Oh, right down there? <laughs> yeah. Dang, he's got some boys. <laughs> he's freaking tall, man. Yeah, he was right out in here. That's good as well. He's good. There you go. Golly. And he's frostbit. Yeah, he's frostbit. It's all frostbit from that. That's cool. That giant freeze we had in February. Dude. We've been coming down here to Texas in the, you know, early to mid summertime when these axis deer start running for the rutting for the last four or five years, and with the population of free range axis that they have down here in uh, this hill country of Texas, I mean, it is a awesome opportunity to get some extra hunting in in the year, and dude, they are fun and one of the most beautiful deer that you will ever see just an unbelievable hunt. Cody and I had a show put on for us last night with a bunch of younger bucks and then uh, this guy got with that group last night sometime and uh, he come rolling through with them this morning when they were going back into this cedar's bed. There's nothing like punching your tag on a beautiful mature axis buck in the heart of the hill country. And if I know Brandon, he'll be back soon and the hill country will be awaiting his return. Even in a small town